The particles that make up matter are too tiny for us to see with our eyes. However, there are ways that you can still observe that the particles are moving. All the particles and substances, regardless of state, are in motion. Particles and solids are vibrating slowly, while the particles in a gas are zipping around very, very quickly. You can observe this movement with water. In the beaker to the left, I have very cold water. In the beaker to the right, I have very warm water. The water's been in the beaker for a little while so that it would settle and not still be moving around from when I poured it in. I'm going to drop a few drops of food dye in each beaker. Observe the dye and what happens. First, in the cold water, and now in the hot water. Something is causing the dye to move very rapidly through the hot water. What would it be? Well, it's the particles of water. All the little molecules that are too small for your eyes to see, they are zipping around and they've, they're they zipping around so rapidly that they have stirred that dye. The dye is now fully dissolved in the hot water while it's only starting to dissolve through the bottom of the beaker in the cold water. As we add thermal energy or heat, the particles in the matter speed up. As they speed up, they get farther and farther apart. Look at these beakers. Think about what you learned this week regarding density. If the particles in the hot water are spread farther apart and are moving faster than the particles in the cold water, what do you think that tells you about the density of hot water compared to cold water? Let's think of another example. Have you ever seen a hot air balloon? Have you ever wondered why it's called a hot air balloon? What do you think the density is of the hot air inside the balloon compared to the density of the air around the balloon? Why do you think a hot air balloon will rise in the sky? It all deals with the tiny little molecules that we can't see and how fast they're moving.